This iPhone 13 Pro Max review is going to be a little bit different than most of the other ones you've seen on YouTube, mainly from the perspective that I'm not going to get into a lot of the nitty gritty details about processor speed and you know how fast apps open and all of this stuff, but I'm more going to concentrate on the things that really matter on everyday use and things that you're gonna notice a difference basically if you're coming from an older device. Now let's get into it. The first things first, the speakers on this phone are excellent, okay? Whenever you wanna listen to something, like say you're just listening to a podcast or music or whatever you wanna listen to, YouTube, the speakers on this are just excellent. I think they're even just a hair better than the 12 Pro Max since that was the device I upgraded from. I think there is a noticeable difference, so that's the first thing to note. Languages. The answer is yes. There's people all around the world with all kinds of different niches and speaking different. The biggest improvement in my book is the battery life. The battery life on this phone is better than any other iPhone in the history of iPhones, even better than the 12 Pro Max, probably by at least 15 to 20%. That's kind of like the difference that I notice. I regularly don't even charge this phone for probably two, sometimes three days straight because unless I'm filming a lot of video with it, I don't need to charge it. That's basically the reality. It will just last. Normal everyday use, opening up different apps, some days I'll use the video camera, which usually drains it the most, but on most days when I'm just using it to text and use as a regular phone, two, three days, no charge. The battery life is incredible. And you will notice the difference if you're coming from any older iPhone that is older than this. Trust me, it's a big difference. Now the size of this phone is exactly the same as the 12 Pro Max, but it is slightly heavier. And you will notice the difference if you have a 12 Pro Max and you go and pick this thing up. It feels a little bit thicker and heavier. Contrary to popular belief, I think it actually makes it feel more premium because it feels more solid, like it can take a beating more. Whereas the 12 Pro Max felt a little bit slimmer and just slightly more flimsy. If you're looking at build quality, I think this phone is even better and it's just the noticeable difference of how it feels in your hand, you're gonna notice it and it's just such a premium feeling device. Now another thing you're gonna notice if you're coming from a smaller iPhone, even from a previous 13 Pro model, anything that's not a Pro Max model or even any type of bigger iPhone like maybe the 11 Pro Max or you know the 10 Pro Max, whatever they called that phone, if you're coming from a smaller iPhone, is there's just more screen real estate when it comes to how many apps you can see at a time, or say if you're reading something in Safari like this, you can just see more on screen at a time. I know that might sound kind of obvious and kind of like something like, duh, okay, the screen's bigger, you're gonna see more, but it's something that you don't expect until you actually have the phone in your hand and you're using it. And then if you try to go back to an older model, like I have an iPhone 10, you can really notice the difference in just how much is visible at any given moment on the screen versus coming from a smaller phone. So that's something that I really like about having the bigger display. And speaking of that bigger display, the screen is just fantastic. I mean, obviously every year Apple tries to up their quality. And in this case, there's no exception here. This screen is definitely the best display on any iPhone ever. And if you ever get a chance to hold one or look at it, you will notice the difference and it's just amazing. And the most important thing to me about the phone is the camera quality. And I personally think that the camera quality is better on this phone coming from the 12 Pro Max. So just a one year difference in technology this phone's camera quality is better, especially on the wide angle lens. Supposedly this lens lets in more light than the 12 Pro Max did, leading to less grainy footage. And I can personally attest to that. And I'll put up some examples for you here. And one thing that Apple showed in their keynote about the phone was the macro photography. And I recently just discovered today before making this video that the macro photography actually seems to carry over into video as well. And I haven't really seen anybody else talk about that. So this is pretty cool. Check out this clip here. Whenever you're kind of further away and then you kind of get the phone closer to whatever you're trying to film, automatically it will switch over into the macro mode with the wide angle, even on video. And the actual level of detail is quite astonishing. So that's something that the iPhone 12 Pro Max definitely could not do. And 
the quality that you can get on a close-up shot like this is actually pretty incredible and it's something that a lot of people complained about with previous iPhone generations not being able to zoom up close on an object every time they try to take a picture or video of something close up that it would just be blurry and that problem seems to have been fixed with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and no surprise here the device is extremely fast I mean there's no performance issues you can do as many things as you want at a time with this phone you can have as many apps open as you want it's not going to slow it down whatsoever in fact i would even go as far to say that apple doesn't even really need to improve the speed of their phones anymore but that's just my opinion i mean at some point the extra horsepower really isn't going to benefit you unless you're trying to run some kind of crazy video game but in that case you know you're on a cell phone i'm not sure why you would do that but i feel like Technology has kind of reached its limit of just how important it is to have more processing power. I don't feel like having more at this point would really do much for you, but that's my opinion. Now, I opted to buy the 128 gigabyte model, which is just the base model. And I did the same thing with the 12 Pro Max. And prior to that, I had an iPhone 10 with 64 gigabytes. And when I had the 64 gigabyte iPhone 10, that was still just fine for me as far as the amount of storage goes. And then getting a free bump basically to have double the storage for really no extra money was a really nice perk that Apple made into their premium iPhone lineup. You know, I really recommend the 128 gigabyte model for most people. If you're the kind of person that likes to store a ton of pictures and videos on your phone, then maybe you wanna upgrade to the 256 or the 512 model. But I feel like for the large majority of people, it probably isn't necessary. And you might just want to save the extra 100 or 200 bucks and just get the base model. And one issue that everybody's been having with this phone is the fact that you just can't get one. Up until now, anyways, it seems like. Prior to me filming this video, every time I would check the Apple Store to see if you could just walk in and get one, you would always have to wait at least two, maybe even three weeks for the next shipment. Well, I'm proud to announce in today's video, as the time I'm filming this, which is December 17th, 2021, you can just walk into the Apple Store near me and just pick one up today. So if that's your situation and you've been thinking about getting one of these and you're wondering if it's worth it, I would say absolutely the phone is worth it. I am just over the moon with this phone. I really don't have any complaints about it at all. And I would recommend anybody in the market for an iPhone to pick up the iPhone 13 Pro Max and you can walk into your nearest Apple store today and pick one up. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video right over here, all about if the iPhone 10 is still worth buying here coming into 2022. And I'll see you guys over there.